Hello, hello. And uh, I'm going to ask Jara to lead us in prayer for tonight's study. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's bow down and pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thanks for everything that you did. And thanks for taking good care of us for the past week. Now, you give us a wonderful opportunity to study your words. And let us remember yours and open our hearts and so that we can remember your words and also spread out your words and let the others know about it too. And bless the speaker as well. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, today, today's um, uh, is uh, March 17, and uh, it's Friday, and uh, since it's after sunset, or, or near sunset, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it is the, um, uh, the 25th of Ada. Ada is the last month of the uh, Hebrew calendar, uh, because, uh, you know, the law told, um, the Lord told uh, you know um, Moses to change the month to uh, the the uh, the new new year to the uh, Nisan, which is the next month. So uh, sometime next week um, they're going to have the Nisan, um, which is a really blessed uh, blessed um, month because uh, Passover is in the month of Nisan, and then um, so as a result and the same. Um, you know, we have our Lord, you know, um, so many years ago died for us. And then he also resurrected in the month of Lisan 17. And um, so, you know, all those blessings and all those life is changed because um, the law has come, you know. And uh, so, you know, we have the um, hope of the new year to come, you know, for the Hebrew new year. And um, so, um, you know, we, we have, you know, this uh, blessed hope for the eternal life, you know, and uh, so, so it is so wonderful and it's so important today. Um, today's uh, title is, uh, original title is called Childbirth Leprosy Monthly Period, uh, which was based on uh, a, a study we had last year. Last year, uh, it was on April 2nd, um, you know, that uh, we used the Torah portion. And, um, and uh, the Torah portion uh, uh, last year was uh, called Tessaria, which means uh, conception or conceive, you know, conceiving a baby, you know. And uh, it was uh, from the uh, chapters uh, 12 and 13. Uh, chapter 12 is uh, the, the childbirth. And 13, I believe, is the leprosy and uh, so so forth. So um, uh, we're going to, um, uh, you know, study that uh, again because, um, you know, uh, last year, uh, even though we have a very good study and uh, there are many blessings in there, um, but, you know, because there's only a few, you know, so uh, we're going to repeat that. But not only that, um, today we're going to also uh, as we study, and uh, we are also uh, looking at the world, uh, all these world events that's happening, and uh, so uh, we can also see, you know, how our living God, you know, because our God is living, is the only living God, you know, so, um, you know, the blessing is because he's living, and the fact that, you know, he's, uh, our, our Lord Jesus sitting on the right hand of the Father, and uh, so, you know, all these things that's going on, you know, um, he, he know it, he know it every day, every moment. And not just about our, our little worlds, but also about the other countries um, or other places, you know, that's going on. And uh, he is mindful and, uh, you know, he loves his people. But anyway, so <laughs> we, have a, we have a long story to tell. Um, yeah, so uh, today, uh, because uh, we are 
using this uh, as the um, chapter 12 and 13 uh, of the um, uh, Leviticus, you know, uh, because uh, last year we did also did that. So uh, to begin with, uh, we're going to read a few verses, uh, the first few verses of chapter 12 of Leviticus. I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read for us uh, the Leviticus chapter 12. Okay. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation of her infirmity, shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch to touch no horrible thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she near a maid child, but if she bear a maid, maid, a maid child, then she shall be unclean two weeks as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying free school and six days. Mm. Thank you. So uh, to start with, this is talking about, you know, the childbirth of uh, either sex, you know, either a boy or a girl, you know. But, you know, apparently, uh, you know, there's uh, like jumping through the hood, you know. <laughs> You know, because, um, you know, this is uh, what the law told Moses. You know, the law did not tell uh, the people of Israel. Uh, but, you know, the law told Moses. And and because it's uh, through Moses, so it become the LAW. The LAW. And uh, seems like it's not easy uh, for the children of Israel, you know, because uh, there are so many number or law, LAW, 613, including the Ten Commandments. So it is very challenging. And uh, some, you know, it, 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 to the human mind, you know, it, it, you, you cannot, you know, figure out, you know, the reasons and why and, and this and that, you know, there, there are, you know, many things. But uh, what we have seen here is a very strict saying, that uh, a woman, you know, when uh, you know when she gave birth to a child, uh, she also have uh, some blood, and uh, or maybe or also you know the, uh, um, you know the, uh, the the a lot of fluid, you know that, um, and then as we know now, you know in the medically, um, you know all this bio bio fluid, you know the. Um, you know, um, uh, blood and other things uh, the, of discharge uh, can be uh, hazardous, yes. But, you know, even at that time, you know, he's talking about unclean, unclean. And then, but, you know, the, the way it was uh, uh, given was that if it's a boy, then she's unclean for seven days. Is that it? No. It's another 33 days. I mean, uh, wait, wait a second. Um, seven days. And uh, and then uh, yes, thirty three days uh, in uh, verse four. So for the for the boy, you know, a uh, 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 birth of a boy is uh, forty days of uncleanness uh, before you know she can uh, uh, you know uh, go to uh, the sanctuary or uh, do the uh, you know the worship and uh, all all those things, touch the all those things, and and so. 40 days of unclean. And, uh, but on the eighth day, you know, um, the boy have to be circumcised also. So, you know, many, many issues, many details, but, you know, it, um, worse than that, you know, the, uh, if it is a girl, girl, you know, um, a, a girl, um, baby girl, then she would be 14 days plus 66 days. 14 plus 66 is 80. Wow. So, so for for a boy, it is forty days. For a girl, is eighty days. 
So you know, it's uh, it's 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 not a, a, a easy thing, of course. You know, because um, you know, during that time, you know, she probably need uh, some help uh, at home, take care of her, take care of the baby, and then you know, also uh, the routine or the uh, kitchen cooking and uh, other 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 children as well. So you know, it's a uh, it's a uh, a lot of burden on the woman. And uh, so you can argue all you want, you know, but that is the uh, the uh, LAW of Moses, LAW, the old covenant. Old covenant is not uh, meant to be easy. Um, so, you know, but, you know, it seems like, you know, it's not uh, the same way, you know, like today. Uh, of course, uh, we, we are thankful. We are thankful, you know, because uh, uh, God already made it uh, clean for all the children of God, all of, all of us, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, at one time in the Acts of Apostle, uh, the Lord told, the Lord told um, Peter that whatever God make clean, uh, you know, men should uh, consider it clean, you know. So, you know, uh, you know, from as a result, you know, in the new covenant, we find out the law already fulfilled because he already fulfilled all the law uh, of the old covenant. He he did everything. He did everything. Remember, you know, um, he he uh, when he was uh, uh, um, you know uh, when he was born, you know, uh, the parents, or uh, you know, uh, well, you know, the the, uh, the Joseph and and um, Mary uh, took uh, the child to the temple and then also have the foreskin, you know, they have the circumcision and uh, on all that. So, you know, it was clean, yeah. And uh, it was, you know, the Lord Jesus already fulfilled all the law, even from the, uh, you know, childhood, from the from the infants, time, the time of the infants. Um, so, you know, this is uh, Leviticus chapter 12. And then, uh, this is not only uh, uh, that, that, you know, uh, but uh, in the chapter 15, you know, there's other things that's considered unclean, you know, um, you know, because um, there's um, uh, other time, you know, that uh, the woman or even men, you know, have a discharge from the body. Uh, so I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read uh, a portion of the chapter 15 of Leviticus. Uh, yellow part or what? Uh, how about the whole thing, you know, if possible, because uh, that way. Okay. Yeah. And if a woman have a, an issue of her blood many days out of the time of her separation, or if it run beyond the time of her separation, all the days of the issue of her uncleanness shall be as the days of her separation. She shall be unclean. Every bed where on she lie all the days of her issue shall be unto her as the bed of her separation. And whatsoever and sit upon shall be unclean as the uncleanness of her separation. And whosoever touch those things shall be unclean and shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and unclean until the seventh, until the even. But if she be cleansed of her issue, then she shall number to herself seven days. And after that, she shall be clean. And on the eighth day, she shall take on to her turtles or two young pigeons and bring them unto the priest to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for her, for her, before the Lord, for the issue of her uncleanness. Thus shall ye separate the children of Israel from the uncleanness that they die, not in their uncleanness, when they defile my tabernacle that is among them. This is the law of him that hath an issue, and of him whose seed go from him and <clears throat> go from him and is defiled therewith. 
and of her that is sick of her flowers, and of him that hath an issue, of the man and of the woman, and of him that lie with her that is unclean. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. So uh, this is the second, you know, type, you know, where we, we just uh, read the chapter 12 about the birth of, uh, uh, you know, boys and girls, you know, and then, but this one is about, you know, there are some, uh, sometimes there are medical conditions of um, women that have um, uh, blood issue. In other words, uh, they, maybe the the period is uh, the menstrual period is uh, extended, or maybe they, they, you know, she could not stop the uh, the, the blood, uh, you know, flow, you know, and uh, so it, it's just more than just a period, you know, more than just a period, and uh, you know that so that becomes a medical issue, and 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 so you know uh, that is uh, pretty hard, you know. Um, because uh, she shall be unclean. She shall be unclean. You know, this uh, word shall, you know, even though this is a third party, uh, shall means, um, you know, it, it is kind of like, um, uh, definitely is unclean, you know. And, and, and so, you know, everything she touched, the bed and uh, the clothing and, uh, or anyone that touched those things, uh, it's unclean and they, they have to wash, you know, until the even and be unclean until the even. In other words, uh, that imply that, you know, the um, uh, the people that uh, have a contact with her or her body or her clothing uh, have to have a bath every day, right? Because it's unclean until the even. So, so you know, have, have a bath that is a, is a temporary measure, but, you know, that is um, saying, you know, the the woman that has had that, that blood blood, um, um, uh, you know, um, conditions. Um, that is, and then you know, so you know that you know there's a description like of her that is sick of her flowers. Flowers means uh, like you know when when a woman have a blood blood issue a blood flow, um, you know wherever she walk, you know there might be some drop of blood on the ground. And the ground is reddish and look like a flower, you know, like flower grow grow on the ground. So you know, in other words, you know that she she you know she have that, and then she is defiled, and she had um, have to take care of herself. But also, uh, anyone surrounding uh, have to have a uh, some kind of hygienic uh, 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 washing, you know, uh, at, at least take a bath every day, you know, kind of thing. Now. Um, if in the event, you know, that uh, somehow she was healed, no, no more uh, the, the blood condition, you know, somehow she was healed, then she still have to offer, uh, uh, you know, some way or sin offering uh, and burn offering, you know. So in other words, is it considered, you know, like uh, one of those, um, the sickness and the sin is uh, kind of, you know, kind of, you know, come together. And uh, um, now to think about that, uh, the reason it was given is uh, because, uh, uh, you know, the, the law uh, in the Old Testament time, you know, required the children uh, to, to be separate from the uncleaners. So in other words, that they won't die from it. So in other words, you know, uh, apparently there are time, you know, there, you know, this kind of sickness um, uh, whether it's caused by uh, whatever reasons and, um, you know, could be uh, ca causing, you know, the, the uh, surrounding people, you know, to have uh, illness or whatever, you know, because now we already know, you know, there's a lot of blood uh, born disease, you know, um, you know, the, the fact that, um, you know, some of the, um, you know, the disease, you know, uh, but by touching the blood, you know, that people get um, you know, <laughs> HIV or something like that, you know. But anyway, um, but, you know, to think about that, um, when they define my tabernacle, that is among them. In other words, you know, the scene or the blood issue or the blood flow or whatever reasons, uh, when they have this kind of contact, uh, they can actually defile 
God's temple. In other words, you know, um, God's temple is uh, to be respected and honored. Huh. And so, uh, so the so the uh, law of Moses have a high demand on 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 his own people. Now that is a time of Moses, but to think about that now, uh, what what is going on now? The tabernacle in the New Testament is what the tabernacle of the New Testament is the our body. You know, because our body is the temple, the temple is the tabernacle of the Holy Spirit. In other words, we we are now. You know, our body is the, the actual temple, you know, because the physical temple is gone. There's no more Jerusalem temple. They're trying to re, uh, build another one, but the first two was destroyed. And uh, now, you know, the the Holy Spirit lives in us. So so this is actually talking about, hey, our body, our body uh, is the temple of Holy Spirit. And to avoid uh, defiling the, the body, is uh you know of course uh, we we want to be high you know uh take uh you know take take uh, all the hygienic uh, uh precautions you know so uh, we we should take a bath you know uh, or maybe we have blood or uh, issue or we have period or we have uh, a child uh, or you know we have discharge you know for that uh, matter you know for men you know we uh, you know sometimes we have discharge or whatever reasons you know, sex or otherwise, we have to, we should take a bath. <laughs> so, so, so apparently as a result, you know, um, the children of Israel in the Old Testament time probably was the cleanest, the cleanest uh, 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 people, you know, in the ancient time, you know, I, I don't know if other, uh, you know, uh, uh, part of the world or other, you know, <coughs> Uh, have a requirement to have a bath every day or when they are uh, you know they have a um, you know bodily fluid you know now now we already know bodily fluid can be can be a, can be a you know a medical uh, cause um, you know uh, sickness or, or this and that you know but anyway so you know they are hygienic reason but then you know it talk about you know this is a, a practice as a religious you know, our, our practice also, you know, so Moses, law of Moses required it. Now, the, uh, um, the, there's another one, you know, uh, actually is the period. The period is uh, the one that is, uh, you know, it's kind of harsh, but then, you know, think about that. Uh, why, why do I say it's harsh? It's because uh, all the uh, young women, of a uh, childbearing age, uh, they uh, every month they have period, so it's uh, like five to seven days of period. But but you know uh, after the period, she is still called unclean for seven days. So like almost a a, a week is uh, uh, the period, uh, the actual period with blood, and then after that there are additional seven days. So in other words, in in uh, the in the society at that time, uh, the woman is unclean uh, for half of the time. Half of the time is unclean. So it's it's uh, it it was uh, pretty tough, you know, because uh, the woman uh, uh, was in charge of the uh, you know getting water and uh, do the cooking and taking care of the children and uh, do all that, uh, you know. Uh, you know things you know the, for the for the family and um, um and then and then she is caught unclean and then so the the man you know probably a lot of time yell at her and uh, say oh you are unclean don't you know i don't want to touch you da, 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 you know and and so there's a lot of um, family t- tension under the law you know and then so in the society also in the family a uh, woman is treated like um, you know, sub, subservient, and uh, so in the Old Testament time, you know, in the uh, under the religious law, it's like that. Well, I don't want to go back. Uh, you know, um, you know, you know, I, I, I ask uh, why women are, are treated, uh, you know, uh, much lower than men. You know, men is 
uh, having their hard time, you know, with the, those at 613 law. But the woman is uh, actually at the bottom, bottom on the run, you know. And, uh, but, you know, you, you can you can go back and then, you know, talk about, you know, well, um, the the original plan, you know, the but uh, Adam and Eve and in uh, Adam and Eve time, you know, uh, Eve uh, uh, have seen first, you know. But anyway, th that is not the uh, that is not the purpose uh, of our discussion right now. You know, we have talked about that previously, or maybe later on uh, we can talk about, talk more about it. Now, those in the old, this is the old common, you know, and then you talk to a, a modern woman, well. How come uh, we are we are now because of the new covenant we are, we are no longer following this? Well, of course uh, we we realize you know this is this is because you know the law of Moses is uh, to bring to them to see you know that um, we 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 uh, can never by obeying uh, completely all the law and somehow uh, we can be uh, we can go to heaven. You know this is this is showing you know it is very tough. In the Old Testament time, in the old under the law of Moses, you know the woman suffer and the men suffer, um, and you know so so now. But of course, you know in the New Testament time, now is totally different. Uh -huh. because, as I said, uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, all the believers of Jesus Christ, um, you know, there's no more uncleanness because uh, Jesus have uh, fulfilled all the law. You know all these six hundred and thirteen law. You know Jesus had done it. You know from from uh, his birth, and then uh, he become a son of man. You know, and then he become our our sacrifice, and then so you know he has paid for, done it. You know he fulfilled all the law. You know by his own declaration, and uh, you know so I I have no doubt about it. So now you know we have a new. New uh, covenant, you know. So what what uh, what are the requirements of the new covenant uh, for the for the gender for the woman? And uh, so I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard to read for us uh, First Corinthians uh, chapter eleven. Um, you know, talking about you know the this is uh, kind of like a little two things as compared compared to in the Old Testament time. It was uh, you know every month is uh, is a hardship. <laughs> So the just the green part or uh, I I I uh, I think uh, it's better to read the whole thing uh, for now. Okay. Yes. yes. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinance as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of the Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor his head. But every woman that pray or prophesy with her head uncovered, dishonor her head. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shown. But if it be a shame for a woman for, to be shown or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God, but a woman is the glory of the man. For a man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Yes, there's a quite a jump. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, when I said it's quite a jump, you know, it's now we no longer talk about clean or unclean, you know, not just for the woman, but also for the man. You know, uh, there are so many requirements, you know, um, um, you know, on uh, uh, every expert, you know, that uh, you, you have to do this, you have to do that. And then now suddenly, you know, the Lord told, told um, uh, Peter, you know, let, let um, everything that's uh, called by God to be clean. Um, it's uh, let, let not them uh, say it's unclean, you know. So, so, you know, this is, 
because all because of what Jesus did. You know, Jesus did that. Take care of the clean or unclean. Now, of course, uh, you you want to wash your hand, but uh, it's only because you know you feel like your hand is uh, you know uh, dirty or something. You know that uh, you you just want to wash it. You know, it's a free will washing. You know, because uh, uh, you know in uh, God's eyes you are clean. You know, because uh, you are, you are the in the in the kingdom. You are you are children. You are sons and daughter of God. You know, so you know that you you know it's not like you know you you have to wash your hand or um, you know wash your clothing. You know, and uh, don't don't touch me. You know, I'm unclean. You know, it's it's no longer. But you know, st still talking about well, what what's the difference between men and women? Well, you know, the fact of the matter is. Uh, this is saying, you know, now we only talk about the order. You know, there's order in the universe. There's order, you know, arrangement of, there's hierarchy, you know, some, uh, but that hierarchy is not uh, because of the law of Moses anymore, but because, you know, we, we, you know, we have man uh, and woman is created different. And, and, and then now in the new new world, new covenant, you know, uh, man and uh, uh, when he's praying or he's prophesying, should not cover his head. Should not cover his head. Now you say that's weird because uh, a lot of religious uh, 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 people out there, you know, they cover their head. You know, it's very strange. But you know, over here in First Corinthians eleven. The man, when he's uh, praying to God, or he's teaching, or he's uh, preaching, prophesying can be preaching. You know, he should not cover his head because when he cover his head, he dishonor the head. But who's the head of us? Is Christ? In other words, we are in a new covenant. The man, when he's uh, teaching and praying, should not cover his head. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, even uh, de some denominations, um, uh, definitely the to, to, to Jews, you know, they would cover their head. But not only that, in um, other religions as well, you know, they, uh, they, they make sure to cover their, not just the head, you know, maybe the mouth too. <laughs> but anyway, but uh, this in 11.5 is also very strange. Because every woman that pray or prophesy uh, with her head uncovered, dishonor her head. So in other words, men and women is still different in some order. And the, the order is, you know, when woman, woman can pray, woman can also teach or preach or prophesy. Yeah, woman can, can do that. Uh, unfortunately, I know, you know, even the Southern Baptists, uh, they, they have a big, big deal about, you know, women cannot teach or pray or prophesy. Did not say that here. It actually say women that pray or prophesy. But what is the, the way, you know, the way is uh, required to have uh, her head cover, you know. So say if uh, she shave her head, or, or uh, you know, uh, uh, have uh, cut uh, most of the hair. Then uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, honoring the head. Her head. Who's her head? Jesus. Did not say she cannot pray. Did not say she cannot prophesy. But she have to have a certain certain way. And that covering is uh, you know actually you know according to this passage. It's like she she is showing, you know, she is uh, recognizing the the order, recognizing that you know, like God is over Christ and Christ is over men and women, and uh, also you know by this following this order, um, you know, she is honoring Jesus. See that. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, um, I know you know, uh, you know, some uh, a lot of churches uh, still talk about uh, women cannot preach, women cannot be this, women cannot be that. You know, all he's saying here is she have to uh, show 
uh, her respect of the power or respect of the head or of the order in the spiritual kingdom and the kingdom, you know, even for the angels. In other words, you know, um, it, it, it's not like, you know, uh, she, uh, to, she broke some law and then suddenly she no longer can uh, can go to heaven. You know, it's not like that. You know, it's, it's having everything to do about, you know, uh, in the spiritual world, in the kingdom, you know, there is a, a order, you know, like, uh, yes, man uh, in some way is, um, um, is uh, the head of the woman. And uh, just like uh, God is the head of Christ and Christ is the head of men and women. So, you know, because of that, you know, so um, it's very different. It's very different. And I will show you some more. One, some more is in the, in the time of Pentecost. Um, you know, uh, this uh, passage uh, was in the, in the chapter two of Acts. Can uh, Gerard read for us? Yes. Okay. Uh, chapter two sixteen, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams, and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall promise. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. So uh, this is talking about the last days, you know. So it was first um, uh, written by Prophet uh, Joel, you know, the Book of Joel, Joel, Joel in the Old Testament. But you know, Peter, Peter repeated. And uh, announced it again, you know, particularly at the day of Pentecost. And then he said, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, you know. <laughs> so, so in other words, because in the last days, you know, the Holy Spirit is going to, you know, uh, you know, um, going through, you know, this is the last day, okay? You know, uh, let's face it, you know, this is the last generations. Okay, we don't know the time and day, right? But uh, we, we know, you know, we can feel it. You can see it, okay? We talk some more about the last days, but, you know, this is the last day, you know, the Holy Spirit will descend upon all fresh, you know, not just the sons, but also your sons and daughters, and they shall prophesy, okay? So, so you know, we are all sons and daughters of God, you know, and it's not just for the man, you know, and, and, and then definitely this is the last day. So, you know, don't, don't try to, um, you know, be a, be a taskmaster and then uh, restrict people uh, just because, um, you know, in the old days, you know, the, they, they, they are not allowed, you know, in, in your denomination, they don't, they don't allow women to, uh, to teach or preach or, or prophesy. <laughs> so not only that, in verse 18, it also say, my man servant and my maid servants. Now, how come there are two class? You know, there are sons and daughters, and there are my man servant and maid servant in in the kingdom. Well, it turned out actually the law already declared everyone that believe in Jesus Christ, everyone that believe in Jesus Christ, we are all sons and daughter of God. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to argue with you, you know, um, because uh, uh, some people, you know, some church or some denomination, they they insist that uh, we're not sons and daughters, uh, we are, we are servants. They they want to lower their, their own own class, you know, because uh, upstairs is for the family, downstairs at the basement is for the servant and the handmaid, you know, so they can cook the food for you know, like Martha. You remember Martha. You know, Martha, you know, do all the cooking. <laughs> so they insist to be servants and handmaidens. You know, uh, it, it's not because uh, they, they are not sons and daughters. They are already in the church. They are in the family. But, you know, some some do not get everything, you know, because uh, they insist that they want to work hard themselves, you know. So anyway, so, but even at that, you know, even the servants and handmaidens, Handmaidens in the old in the in the last days, they also have Holy Spirit. 
it's already there. They, they are in there, but you know, they insist uh, they, they want to be uh, lower, lower, lower class, you know, in, in, insist on, uh, I don't need God's help. I, 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 I can work hard myself, you know. So there's, uh, there, there are people like that. Now, they, they go to heaven too. So they are in the kingdom. But, you know, because uh, the, the, the way they see themselves, the, the, the little faith they have, like Martha. So, you know, obviously, um, um, you know, the law said, you know, Mary have the best thing, already have the best part, you know. And, and so, you know, uh, well, anyway. <laughs> but the whole point is, in this uh, passage, it talk about sons and daughters. Sons and daughters, you know, it's not like, you know, uh, in the last days, um, you know, they, they are less and less, uh, you know, restriction because obviously, because the Holy Spirit is taking over. Holy Spirit is pouring out. So, you know, when you understand that, you know, don't try to, you know, um, act like, you know, you are, you are, you are the, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the dogs and uh, try to, you know, uh, buy off other people, you know, when, when they are, you know, they, they are, you know, uh, uh, more spiritual than you. <laughs> now, there's another passage also to do with the man and woman. Uh, it's uh, in Matthew, uh, that there are four verses. So I'm going to ask, uh, uh, actually, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Gerard to read uh, the green portion only. Okay, Jesus answered and said unto them, Be to earth, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Hmm. Well, yeah, man, you know. So in other words, yeah, Jesus, uh, in answering um, the set to see, you know, the set, set to see, you know, um, you know, there's a Pharisee and there's a set to see, you know. <laughs> they, uh, they, they, they try to trick up uh, Jesus, you know, and, um, but, you know, Jesus told them, hey, you know, you, you guys don't understand, you know, in the resurrection, so in the eternal life, um, all the believers, all the sons and daughters of God, and, and they no longer are married or given in marriage. In fact, uh, they are all released from their original uh, marriage contract in the in the in the in this life, because now they are, uh, you know, we are all married to our our our, our Lord Jesus. We are all like angels. In fact, we are like sons of God. You know, in other words, there are no more men and women. You know, it's all sons of God. You understand? Yeah, because uh, we are like the angels of God in heavens, you know. We are having a, a you know, a super time, you know, um, you know, a, a eternal, uh, um, you know, uh, years, you know, um, you know, um, to do with our, you know, our, 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 our big brother, you know, our, our Lord Jesus, you know, because he's our savior. He's, uh, he's uh, all the blessing from home, the blessing flow, you know, and uh, so... You know why? Why do you uh, worry about uh, your, you know, uh, your, you know, pe you know? Well, of course, uh, you know, all the all the uh, relatives uh, that we have uh, down here, they, we are all brother and sister or mother. We are all related. We are we are all, you know, uh, you know. But but it's no, we are no longer married to each other or, or even your sons and daughter on earth. They are your brothers now. They are your brother and sister, you know. Don't 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 try to act like oh because uh, 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 you you are you are older than them uh, by one generation. Somehow you have to insist on that uh, in heaven. No, you know we we are we are looking all uh, to to Jesus. You know we are we are you know treating each other like brother and sister. You know all this uh, previous uh, relationship is is uh, is not the same anymore. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, you know, those uh, ma uh, marriage uh, contract were only on earth. But, you know, in heaven, uh, we, are, we are all brother and sister and mothers. <laughs> okay, we are, we are all in the family of God, you know. Okay, and uh, now, in Galatians, you know, there's another passage uh, that's like that too. Um, 
In fact, in Galatians uh, chapter 3, 26, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read that uh, green portion. Okay. For ye are all sons of God through the state of Jesus Christ. For as many as to Christ were baptized, did put on Christ. There is not here Jew or Greek. There is not female for all ye are one in Christ Jesus. And if ye are of Christ then, of Abraham, ye are seed, and according to promise, hers. Right, I, right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You know, this is such a wonderful uh, passage, you know, because uh, you are all sons of God. See, I told you. We are all sons of God, even though, you know, in the in the other passage, we are sons and daughters of God. But actually, we are all sons of God. Why? Because we are related to Jesus. You know, and then we put on Jesus also, you know, like we put on like a garment, you know. So so now, you know, we have the righteousness of Christ. You know, it's like we wear on uh, Christ, you know. Um, that is a uh, that is a uh, uh, declaration, uh, you know our our positions and our 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 actual um, uh, you know relationship in in heavens already. We you are so in other words, it's it's not like um, and then you were baptized, did put on Christ. You know in other words, you already have the garment of righteousness. You already wear a new garment. You don't see it. Well, because uh, you you on the outside you are still having this body, <laughs> but, but you know in the, um, in 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 actual fact this all was already accomplished. You know, did put on Christ. In other words, we already have the garment of righteousness from our Lord. You know, that's why you know when we say seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and it is His righteousness. So, you know, now that we believe we are sons and daughters of God, we are, you know, in position, we are all already in the kingdom. We are already sons and daughters of God or sons of God. Okay. And then we already have the garment of righteousness. And then, so as a result, you know, it's no longer uh, Jew or Greek, you know, which means what, you know, means that uh, you, you, you don't have to, you know, like uh, bow down to, you know, like, uh, you know, um, you, you think maybe the Jew have uh, no more uh, language or, or, or Hebrew because uh, he, he know more, you know, than uh, they have to be your teacher. No, 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 no. You know, it has nothing to do with that. We, we are, you know, uh, no matter whether you are Jewish or, or Gentile, Greek is a Gentile, you, you are already one in Christ. And then not only that, doesn't matter if you are a boss on earth, or uh, or maybe a, a, a slave, it doesn't matter. You know, we are we are should be understanding that uh, we are already in Christ. We are one. Uh, there's no higher one or lower one. Same thing for male and female. Same thing. Okay. And then and uh, you have that understanding. You you know that you are Christ, and then you are seed of Abraham. Not just Abraham, but seed of Abraham. And then as a result. We already inherit. We already have the offer of inheritance. You know, um, you know. Of course, I know. You know, a lot of um, you know denominations. Uh, they still try to tell you uh, you are uh, you are poor. You, you you don't have anything, and uh, you you have to repent. You know, you know all kind of problem. But uh, you know, uh, if you understand that, you know, then uh, the the law, whatever you believe. Um, as much as you believe that the Lord is going to be with you uh, on that level. Now, uh, you know, trying to wind up uh, the, on this uh, Le Leviticus uh, chapter 14. And uh, so, you know, uh, last week uh, we talked about the high priest. You know, seems like the high priest uh, is acting like lepers. You know, in order for a high priest to be a priest, they have to go through all these uh, uh, sin offerings, all these repentance at the seven days or wherever. And then, <laughs> but turn out the lepers are the same way. The lepers are going through the same, same mode. In other words, lepers are sinners. The priests are sinners. Don't try to think, you know, only the lepers 
uh, 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 sinners. You know, a lot of time, you know, in church, you know, people project to you the the priest, the pastor, the religious leader, the deacons. They are more more holy. They are more holy. You know, not true. They are sinners also. It's all because of Jesus. So that's why they have to go through the seven days. They 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 cannot be uh 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 uh. uh you know, for uh, you know, uh, heal and cleanse and uh, uh, of the, all the all the uh, you know whatever uh, until the eighth day, until the new creation, until until Jesus come. So on the eighth day, you know, lepers and the priests, you know, uh, after going through all this mumbo jumbo, and um, now they realize, oh, it's because of Jesus. Jesus did it for us. So on the eighth day, we become a new creation. You know. The first seven days don't count. The creation, the people that uh, live under the creation don't count, you know, because uh, that was the natural thing, you know. The seven days is the creation of the earth. So, you know, uh, people that did not go into the eighth day, uh, the new creation, they, they cannot be cleansed. You know, it's that simple. And then it's not just the lepers, it's the priests also, okay? We already talked about that last week. Uh, so uh, we're going to jump. <laughs> so. And this is also, you know, continuing uh, talking about, you know, the the uh, the things that they have to do um, in order to to be cleansed. And uh, but it's all on the X day. On the X day, you know, they go through all these um, uh, uh, different uh, offerings, and then somehow, you know, they they become cleansed. Lepers is just like the priest. You know, don't don't try to think that your pastor is superior. Your pastor is also another sheep. We are all sheep. And then our Lord Jesus, our Lord is, my Lord is my shepherd. My Lord is my shepherd. The only true shepherd is Jesus. The rest of us is all, all sheep, you know. Maybe he's um, a sheep, uh, number, uh, upper class, <laughs> but he's still a sheep, okay. Uh, you know, don't, don't try to elevate your, your priests, your, your, your uh, uh, religious leaders, okay. Now this one, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read uh, the the green portion. It uh, have to do with uh, Luke chapter five. You know, uh, a leper come to Jesus, and then uh, what Jesus did. Uh, the green portion, please. Okay, uh, sir. If thou will, thou art able to cleanse me, and having stretched forth his hand, he touched him. Having said, I will. Be thou cleansed, and immediately the lepers went away from him, and he charged him to tell no one. But having gone away, show thyself to the priest and bring near to thy cleansing, according as Moses directed for testimony to them. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, this is one example. You know, Jesus did a. Uh, uh, heal a lot of lep lepers in the gospel. But, uh, you know, this is one of the first one, Luke chapter five. So what happened was, you know, this guy, you know, know that uh, Jesus is able to, because uh, he healed so many kinds of sickness. Yeah, and then, you know, so, so, so in so many ways. So, you know, he come to him and then ask, um, you know, you have that power. Uh, but, you know, will you, do you have the will to heal me? And then Jesus said, when, when you, you pray like this, you know, Jesus said, he touched him. He actually touched him. So he's the, he's the, uh, the man, you know, that's holy. And then he was not, um, made unclean. Jesus, he's his son of God, you know, he touched the leper. And then the, the lepers, uh, was made clean, you know, that touching. That transfer of the holiness is uh, Jesus uh, is your your source of holiness. Touch him, and then he not only uh, 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 clean, you know, uh, cleanse, but also uh, heal. And then you know he was told, you know, to oh, go to the priest, you know, and then um, you know it turned out uh, because uh, you know when Jesus uh, on earth, you know, he's uh, fulfilled all the uh, law of Moses, you know, so. Even uh, though he, he, uh, he, you know, he, he uh, insists, you know, he asks uh, the lepers, you know, go, go uh, and, and um, you know, be uh, verified. 
And uh, so what happened in the same chapter later on, this is the, the things that happened. And uh, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard, Gerard to read uh, the yellow portion only on uh, th the same chapter at uh, chapter five. Okay. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. Mm, thank you. So, so what happened is after the leper was cleansed and then he went to uh, the temple and asked the priest to, to cleanse him, you know, to verify actually. And then, you know, because in the Old Testament, uh, from what time of Moses to Jesus' time, very few lepers were healed. The only one, uh, few that was uh, on, on, uh, on, in the Bible that was healed of leprosy was actually like the Syrian general. It's a Gentile. It's a Gentile. So, so you know, for the matter, you know, the, the law of Moses did not promise healing. Uh, to, to the Old Testament people. Law of Moses only uh, require them to, after they will, they will heal, they have no more, they have no more leprosy, then uh, they should be uh, cleansed. It's a, it's a cleansing. It's a, you know, make sure the, uh, the sins are forgiven, you know. And, and, and so, you know, so 1500 years, uh, they were waiting for someone to show up and then uh, uh, know how to heal. And uh, uh, no, you know, so uh, all these uh, Pharisees and all these uh, doctors of the law, uh, all these lawyers from every town, from our Galilee and from every town of Judea and also from Jerusalem, they all come out to this seminar. <laughs> Jesus says, you know, keep teaching a seminar. And, and so, you know, they all, all want to find out, well, who, who's this guy, you know, he did a uh, heal. Uh, the the lepers, because how how do how do you find out? Because uh, the uh, the temple uh, priests they, they say, wow, this guy is um is a uh, uh, was a uh, was a uh, lepers and then uh, he was healed and so now you know he was the first one to get verified, fifteen hundred years okay. <laughs> that's that's what happened in chapter five, so you can see you know and then. The, sadly, you know, the, when they were sitting in the same same house, it, it was so full because it's a uh, it's a uh, very successful, well, not successful at all because uh, they 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 they, um, uh, they there was a uh, you know a uh, healing you know coming down from the roof, you know the the friends uh, dropped down uh, uh, um, you know this this man that that could not walk, it was on a we uh, you know on a bed you know dropped down from the roof, and then. Jesus said, you know, your sins are forgiven thee. And then suddenly all these, um, all these Pharisees and, um, uh, and then, you know, they, they, they don't believe in Jesus anymore. They were just looking for, um, you know, a mechanism of healing. They were looking for a way, you know, so they can also exercise healing. But, you know, suddenly when, um, when Jesus talked about their sins, the, the sins are forgiven. Of, of that uh, lap, you know, the, 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 the man that was uh, uh, sick of palsy, you know, and then he, he was saying, hey, you know, uh, arise and take up thy coat and go into your house. Uh, which, which way is easier? Which one is easier? Rise up and walk or sins forgiven? Actually, both uh, it has to be from God. You know, there was no other one. You know, um, you know, um, so you know, it's it's amazing, you know, how 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 um, hard, you know, uh, have you know uh, all those uh, Old Testament people, you know, all those uh, under the law, you know, they they are so uh, harsh, you know, and then they could not uh, 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 accept the fact that uh, Jesus is the Son of God, and then He died for us. So uh, I let me give you a comparison: the Old and New Covenant. On the left side is, um, you know, under the Moses law, you know, the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, you know, and, and then you find, you know, like from Moses, from Aaron, from, you know, they, they have so much condemnations, 
you know, judgment, condemnation. And uh, so, you know, you find a, a lot of religious people are like that also. A lot of religious people are like that. And then, and then uh, yeah, they, they, they are judgmental because uh, they're based on man's righteousness. They say, oh, those people are no good, you know, they're, they're, and then they also look down on other people, right? you know, you know they're racist. A lot of people under the old continent, they, they are very racist, okay? Uh, you, you can tell, you know, that, you know, people where, when they are racist, uh, they are not living under grace. They are living under LAW. And they also look down on women. You can see, you know, in the law of Moses, uh, it's very tough on women. It's a uh, very high demanding. And um, so they look down on women, they look down on children, they all look down on people of uh, other age group. Uh, there's a law of Moses, you know. It's easier for the Mosaic law to, to bring out all this um, sinful nature. Yeah. And then of course, uh, they on the outside, they live up the 10 commands. And you know, they, they say, uh, well, we have to obey the whole Bible, you know. <laughs> obey the whole Bible. Uh, but, you know, those people that belong to the new kingdom, the, uh, the new covenant, you know, it's, uh, it's Jesus. And then the, the example is King David. King David means uh, beloved. King saw his grave, the underworld, the shield, you know, but King David is beloved. That's why Jesus identified with David, you know, uh, so he was called the son of David you know, in the gospel. And um, so, you know, because of him, our sins, all our sins are forgiven. No more sin. You know, we we are, we can still be a, have a sinful uh, uh, nature, uh, you know, but uh, we, we, you know, we, uh, we know that, you know, the Lord has uh, forgiven us. You know, he, he has uh, forgiven us all the past, present, and future sins. Okay. That's why we have the, uh, uh, the, the communion, you know, to remember that. But also we rest in Christ and then we already have the righteousness. Well, you know, uh, there's a long story, you know, we, we uh, studied that uh, so many times. And then we, we, you know, with that understanding, that mindset, we deem other people uh, as brothers. You know, uh, they are brothers really because Christ loved them too. They love them, you know, you know, Christ uh, want to save them, want to bless them. And then the woman, they are like my sister or mother or children. You know, they, they are all in the world, you know, family. Um, so, you know, because Christ loved the woman too, love them, you know, um, you know, because uh, they are all going to be sons and sons of God. And then so, you know, the, the way uh, we, we uh, live and you know, uh, we, we should be looking upon Jesus. You know, we look unto, unto Jesus. And then, you know, then all the other things uh, will fade away. Now, of course, uh, that is not the, 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 the world right now. You know, we are look, talking about, you know, his will, you know, the, our law, our kingdom is, uh, you know, in our heart. The kingdom is in our heart. But uh, you look outside uh, in the, the world uh, going on, it's not uh, like that uh, much. Now, I'm, I'm going to talk about some uh, current events. Now, this one current event is, um, of course, uh, we are talking about the uh, uh, Turkey, Turkey earthquake. The Turkey earthquake, uh, like February 6th is the first day. Um, this is March 15th. So, um, you know, uh, and then you, you uh, as we, we stay before, you know, we, I want to repeat that again. It's uh, all the earthquake is in Turkey not in Syria, you know, Syria has suffered enough for the last 12 years. Uh, this is exactly March 15 is the, the anniversary of the 12 years of Syrian war. Syrian has suffered 12 years. Uh, it's uh, the act of man, uh, you know, all the, all the warring parties is uh, from Turkey and uh, also from the West and also from the, those are terrorists. Um, they all, all of them, you know, all the weapons uh, come through Turkey. So Turkey make a lot of money. Uh, a lot of buildings uh, will be the uh, last few years uh, because they make a lot of money. And anyway, so uh, this uh, earthquake uh, only happened in Turkey. Okay, um, it's uh, it's a uh, very sad, but uh, you know, of course, uh, 
um, you know, because, um, you know, this is, um, um, you know, they, they, they don't, if they, if they don't believe in Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus cannot save them, you know, uh, let's face it. Um, so uh, that's what happened. Now, if you look at this, like about 100 years ago, there was an Armenian genocide. The Armenian genocide, the uh, area where they were forced to uh, uh, either to be killed or to be deported uh, is uh, the brown area. The, the deep brown is more than 50%. Other part is, um, you know, uh, they, they are Armenian is, we're, we're living in, in this area uh, like for the last 2000 years, okay? And uh, so uh, what happened was uh, this brown part portion here, this uh, deep brown color area represent the, uh, the higher than 50% Armenian, higher than 50% in other words, but now it's no more. Be because uh, if you look, you know, you look this, this is the uh, place where they, they, uh, they were uh, either deported or killed. Um, and th those are the actually, those are cities that have all these uh, earthquakes. You know, uh, this, um, you know, all these uh, cities, you know, you look into it and then you find all these cities, uh, uh, at, at, uh, you know, about hundred years ago and before, uh, they have um, more than 50% uh, Armenian Christians. They were Christians, you know, so they drove out all the uh, Christians uh, from the, from this area, you know, uh, in the in the in the in the 1915 genocide, and then before that. Um, well, you know, of course, uh, we it's uh, very sad, but, but uh, I, I want to show it to you. Uh, maybe you know some other additional thing. Um, last. Uh, 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 this last week, uh, what's happening in uh, in uh, Turkey is uh, uh, more than. Oh, by the way, this is uh, also the same same uh, uh, earthquake um, maps. And then you look at that on the first day, on the first day of the earthquake. You know, like February six and seven, February six and uh, February seven, and then there was a big one on this side of the fort. There was a big one. And then after that, and then after that, it kind of go up like a, like like a steps, and then and then it jump over the fort, and then uh, you know uh, it complete the, the thing in the afternoon. You know this is in the morning four o'clock, and uh, so as a result with the double, you know see the, the you know this is in the afternoon, so it kind of like going up steps uh, like this. And then um, you know, and then it jump over to the other side, and then the the there are um, multiple quakes, and then this is also a big one in the afternoon at four o'clock, and then as a result, the earthquake was uh, so damaged, it's kind of like a double curse, you know. Usually, uh, the big earthquake uh, they have only one main shock, and then usually they are on the same side of the fault, you know, and then so. But you know this one, you know it. Um, it happened on both sides. You know it happened in the morning, uh, you know four o'clock, and then it jumped, and then uh, and then it moved on to the other side, and then to at four o'clock it it has uh, the other side. So it covered the whole area. It covered the whole area. So that's why it has so much damage. And then not only that, and the strange thing is, uh, even though this is far away from Antakya, the Antioch. The Antioch uh, or the Bible, um, but you know, the, on that day, you know, this is already destroyed. On that day, you know, uh, these are so even though they have a, a, a quite a distance, it's a quite a distance, you know, like uh, maybe eighty or hundred miles uh, kilometer from uh, from the main shot. Uh, but apparently, because of the location of the second shot, and then this one, it's uh, it's like a trumpet. Going down the uh, soft valley, see the soft valley. That Antioch is like a soft valley. It's sort of like, like a, you know, all this en um, earthquake energy was channeled through the soft soil, and then hit uh, Antarctica. That's why Antarctica were all completely destroyed, even on the first day. You know, um, 
So uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, of course, it's a uh, very sad things. And um, so uh, going back. So of course, uh, you know, uh, yes, it, this is always sad. But of course, even though Antarctica was the, already destroyed on the, uh, you know, early days, and um, and then later on, uh, uh, this is the Antarctica. You know, this is the uh, uh, head, uh, you know, province of Hete, which is the Antioch, and then uh, they have the highest number of death, you know, among the ten provinces. Uh, they they have the highest number of death, and. Uh, so it's a very sad thing, you know, the Antioch uh, will basically wipe out, you know, um, you know, uh, ma many that, and then, uh, you know, all the uh, major building will destroy. Um, and then, and then as a result, you know, they uh, generally like to announce that uh, uh, both the mosque and also the heritage church buildings are also collapsed in, in uh, Antarctica. Now, and or Hete, you know, the province is called Hete, H-A-T-A-Y. Now, but, uh, you know, the reason why they call it heritage church buildings is because uh, there's very few uh, Christian, either Greek or Armenian anymore. They are, they, they are mostly, um, you know, that's why they are called heritage. In other words, uh, they are just for tourists to visit. You know, there are very few Christians. Uh, they were all both driven out, um, you know, the Armenian Christian and also the Greek uh, Christians. And, uh, and so, but anyway, oh, yes, all the buildings are collapsed, yeah. But, you know, this one, this one, uh, we have shared about that. Um, this one did not collapse. But, you know, uh, you know, some of those um, um, uh, video, they try to project that even St. Pierre Church was no exception. In other words, they, they they were also uh, destroyed, you know, and things like that. Um, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, yes, you know, the Antarctica is destroyed and the St. Pierre Church was not destroyed. It was the only exception in, in, in that valley. You know, he, St. Pierre Church was the one that we talked about last, last, um, last week and, and so forth. And then, so now it turned out uh, well, this one, the reason why this one uh, say, say so is that uh, this guy is, uh, is, um, is um, a Muslim from Pakistan. It's not, um, he, he's not, uh, uh, you know, in Turkey. So, you know, he, he just, um, you know, um, kind of like, you know, saying things so, so that, so that um, you know, people, um, you know, did not get the good news. The good news is the uh, local uh, uh, Turkey um, agency, they actually declare that uh, this cave church, this St. Pierre church, uh, this uh, the one, uh, uh, you know, uh, built by the crusader and also connected to uh, Peter and Paul in the, the first century, uh, this one did not collapse. It was intact after the major quakes. Uh, it was February 20, you know, and then I believe uh, still now is uh, intact. Yes, of course, it's very sad, you know, uh, when looked down from the courtyard of this church, um, the, the one in the valley, the city in the valley is all ruined. But, you know, uh, you cannot deny the fact that, you know, they, they admit this is a miracle. They admit that this is a miracle. And this is another uh, uh, news account. And it said that it's a miracle. It remained miraculously intact after the February 6th quake. And this is uh, the, uh, the, the, their own um, uh, Turkish uh, agency. So uh, this, is, this guy is very honest. The world first cave church located in Hete survived the quake. It's a miracle. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, for me, you know, I, I say it's a miracle because, uh, you know, I, I remember looking inside that church. It looked uh, <laughs> so weak. You know, it's made from stone and then it uh, lasts uh, 900 uh, or maybe a thousand years. And then uh, it went through all the earthquake uh, over the thousand years. You, you know, all the, the, the city down below have been uh, 
uh, uh, gone through all the earthquake and, uh, you know, they were destroyed four times. All the mosques and all the whatever, uh, they were destroyed four times. But this one lasted a thousand years. And then, uh, you know, from the point of, as a professional engineer, I say, wow, man, you know, this is, uh, this is a miracle. See that? <laughs> and then uh, you see the window. The window beyond is the, the one uh, that is uh, look like a, a crusader's a crusader's cross. But anyway, <laughs> so you know, I I, I relish I relish uh, this is uh, it, this is a really holy relic, you know, because um, you know it it, it showed that you know our God is a living God. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Now uh, talking about the local level. You know, and um, you know, I I um, I need to talk about that. You know, uh, this is another one I found. You know, in the south, and then apparently the south have the higher uh, drowning, higher drowning in terms of death. You know, so in the southern uh, states, in the deep south, in the in the southern Baptist uh, state, they have a higher drowning. You know. Uh, mostly in the south. And then not only that, this is uh, injury related. I don't know what kind, you know, it's uh, just a, a, a general general type of injury, but, uh, you know, it, it resulted uh, into death. And then also it seems like, you know, it's, uh, it is, um, you know, in, in this area, they have uh, more injury um, related death. And then also, this is like uh, the col colon, colon cancer, over five years, colon cancer. So uh, it is, again, you know, they seems to have more color, you know, in some of those states in the South, you know. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, I cannot repeat more, you know, because uh, obviously, um, actually the laws uh, love the Southern Baptist too. You know, uh, it's just that, you know, when they want to be servants, uh, we, we, when they want to uh, lifting uh, old covenant, lifting the uh, Ten Commandments, you know, what can you do? You know, because um, it is under the law of Moses that uh, the curse come on those people that, that um, you know, follow Moses. Uh, this is uh, mobility, disability. In other words, uh, people on wheelchair, or people uh, that need a crutch or need uh, some help uh, to, to move around, um, you know, uh, over 18, you know, in 2020, they have, apparently they have more. They have a higher number of um, uh, disabled people uh, in, uh, in per, you know, in percentage. So, so you know, that, there you go, you know, it's, uh, it's not just a sickness, it's, um, you know, all kinds of different kinds of curves. It's uh, even the weather is against them. Now, now this one is uh, 2020 is the deadly con tornadoes. In other words, all the death of tornado in that year, 2020, is, uh, is, is uh, kind of congregate in those uh, area where they promote 10 commands. You know, um, it's very strange. And then also in, uh, well, I couldn't find the hurricanes uh, for, just 2020, but apparently, uh, like from 1950 to 2016, like 66 years of hurricanes, and uh, they seem to landfall along the coast because uh, the hurricanes uh, have the highest wind speed uh, when they landfall. After they they go into the inland, they uh, they would uh, the, the the hurricane would slow down. So you know the the damage is highest uh, where they have the they hit the, the uh, you know they landfall on you know on the coast, and uh, apparently you know it it seems like sixty six years of landfall, and um, you know all the major hurricanes are, uh, you know I like way alongside you know like from Texas to you know uh, South or uh, North Carolina. So, you know, well, you know, you know, that's, of course, that's where I said, you know, but uh, we, we are, we are, you know, uh, uh, you know, following Jesus, you know, we are, we are, we, we have uh, everything, we look unto Jesus. And uh, so, yeah, that's why Jesus has suffered so much for us 
on the cross. So I'm going to show, show a short video, and then right after that, and then we're going to have the uh, Holy Communion uh, for our blessings for everyone. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you know, this is one uh, that we have shown in the last 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 years, and hopefully I can show. It. Okay, uh, let's uh, have the holy communion. Okay. Yes. Lord, thank you. You you were wounded for our transgression. You were crushed for our iniquities. And then his wound is uh, your wound is uh, because of your our sickness and our pain. And uh, you paid it all for for us. And Lord, by your strife we are here. Uh as you are in heaven, so are we in this world. You are aware all our sickness, all our sins, and uh, it's all already all paid. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And uh, now we receive 
your body broken for us. We partake and then remember your death uh, until you come to receive us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for the bread, your body, but also thank you for your blood because your blood was shed for us and your blood and water cleanse us from uh, all unrighteousness. And now we are all clean. We have taken the bath uh, in your blood and in your water. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And now we have the righteousness of God in Christ and all our sins past, present, and future sins, all forgiven because of you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey, that was good. Yeah, let's close with a prayer. Okay. Lord Jesus, and thank you very much. And uh, we give thanks and praise to you. You are, you are our Savior. You are our Lord. And uh, you are our Shepherd. And uh, so we are thankful. And uh, we know that we have that future, that future of eternity. And then uh, now uh, we have the mortal body, but uh, at the twinkling of the eye, uh, we are going to turn immortal and I'll be with you forever. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I'm praying for blessing, blessing, blessing for uh, all the audience and a uh, blessing for Gerard and our family and uh, every loved one that he has and uh, help him to uh, to get the wisdom and uh, help him to have the uh, 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 po be prosperous in everything he does and uh, be successful and uh, uh, give him uh, joy and peace in the name of Jesus and also for his family. But not only that, uh, we pray for all the audience uh, on YouTube and other channels in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless everyone at the sound of my voice to uh, all the audience and uh, that uh, they be blessed, they be healed, they be uh, provided for, they be protected and shalom peace. And uh, not just for them, but also for their families in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, good night. Good night. See you next time. Okay.